You are not rocking with keeping it real. Let me bounce that ass, bitch. What the f Let me. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my motherfucking channel. This is a 420 special. Pretty sure I have this up late or whatever, but. If you're watching this after 420, let's spark up, bitch. All right, we are set up and ready to go, y'all. Look at this beautiful, beautiful blunt. It's very big. <laughs> oh, God. Happy 420, bitches. Y'all ready? I'm ready to spark it. Let's go. <laughs> Man, I'm getting high all day. That's good. That's quality. That's beautiful. Can you guys hear me? Does this. I hope this audio is good because if it's not, I'm going to be so pissed. This microphone better work because I'm not about to do that shit. So anyways, how's everyone's life? I wanted to make a podcast about me being sick for two fucking weeks, but I think I'm just going to talk about it here. Uh, you guys saw my last video. I met Damien Chapa from Blood In, Blood Out. That shit was cool. He was awesome. He's great. He follows me on Instagram, which is fucking insane, and he still follows me to this day. If you can go check. Anyways. Um, um, so anyways, I was sick for two fucking weeks. I called off from work for two weeks. I was so fucking sick. Um, I was sick for my stomach. Like I didn't, I had no coughing, no nothing like that. I didn't cough I didn't have no sneezing I wasn't um, nothing like that um, so what happened was um, what day was it it was like uh, it was Tuesday it was Tuesday and uh, like two three weeks ago it was Tuesday and I wake up perfectly fine I go to the restroom in the morning cool awesome take a fat shit <laughs> and then everything was perfect like everything was great and then I took a edible this rosin gummy edible that's hard as dick it's hard as fuck it was like this little circle like that um full of gelatin and sugar I thought I could just swallow it whole without chewing it because it was very like ugh, I kind of I can't explain it it's so disgusting the rosin gummies are disgusting I gave the fucking company a return it's a they're a cool company I, I love them but I I'm gonna stop <laughs> eating those edibles because that shit scarred me bro like I was okay anyways I took the edible and then all of a sudden dude uh, my whole body just shut down like that shit like got stuck I want to say just got stuck I had a, a doctor's appointment that same day about blood work I was perfectly fine my blood work is great I was like fuck the blood work more importantly I feel like shit right now I went to the doctor I was like I feel like shit and something needs to be done she prescribed me some like they helped me it was like for gas bro whatever um, I was sick in and out of a fever for like two weeks straight. My body, I couldn't really shit. I couldn't really go to the restroom, but then I could in the morning. I barely, I wasn't normal, bro. I was not normal for two weeks. I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like I was constipated. Bro, I went to the ER. I called out the rest of the week. I went to the ER that Sunday, the next week. It was Tuesday. I called in all that. I was dying. I was fucking dying. And then... I went to the fucking ER Sunday because I had a doctor's appointment that day, I think. 
and I went, yeah, it was Easter Sunday, it was Easter Sunday, bro, I went to the fucking ER, and nothing was done, they took x-rays, they didn't find anything in my stomach, they said, you have bowel movements, everything is good, I'm like, and then, you know, I wasn't shitting, I wasn't, like, shitting fucking, like, black, like, if you're bleeding eternally, I wasn't, I, I, my pee was great, I was still able to pee, which was kind of, is this too much information? I don't fucking... I'm talking about my... Dude, this is a health scare. This was a health scare. I'm 24 years young. This was a health scare, bro. I was, like, so scared. My blood work was great, but, like, shoot. I don't know what was going on. It was a fucking edible. It was literally the edible. I don't know. My doctor was like, no, it's not the edible. Like, da, da, da. I told the doctor everything. She's like, no. But I was like, bro, it has to have been the fucking edible because I was dying for two weeks. Went to the ER that Sunday, and I went to work that Monday thinking I was okay fuck no i called in the next all right tuesday of the next week i tried working again fuck no that was the worst it's ever fucking been i fever chills out of it i was out of it and i even wanted to stop smoking weed like i wanted to stop smoking but i was getting like a fever and like i don't know if it was me either sick or like me being off of the weed I could quit whenever I want, like, I, I used to quit, like, I've quit before, not that I'm like, oh my fucking god, I need to smoke, like, I barely started smoking constantly for, like, four, three years now, ish, um, I quit back in 20, I don't know, for months, like, I, I really didn't need it, and, like, when I was sick, I didn't smoke, I didn't have the urge to smoke, I didn't want to smoke, but my boo was like, you probably should smoke, because it's not a good idea to have your body be sick, and then try to come off of weed and you know what I mean so we didn't really know if it was interfering with that so I had to smoke because I needed to feel minorly better it really didn't help that much it did to a certain extent but I was just ex in excruciating pain in my stomach like <laughs> unbelievable unbelievable pain I've never had that type of experience in my stomach before um, so I called out the rest of the week as well. My, my boss was like, you know, you're good. You can call out, but like, you can't be calling, going to work, calling in, going to work, calling in. And like your, your adherence is always looked at, you know what I mean? So you can't be doing that shit. So I was like, dude, yeah, I'm going to be out the rest of the week. I'm sorry. I'm done. I can't, I can't. It was paid for. I have, I have a bunch of leave. I have a bunch of sick time, personal time. So thankfully it was paid for. Uh, this is the first week I'm back. I had to make up two days at the facility this week. I've been so busy. I know I wanted to make a podcast and stuff, but you're getting this video. So <laughs> with this 420 sesh about my health scare, this was so fucking insane. Like it was, it was crazy, dude. Thank God it's Friday tomorrow. I'm not going to the facility. I'm just going to be staying at home working while I have new hires watching me, which is crazy because I'm not that good. Like, I'm good, but I don't think I'm that good. But it's time for me to move up. It is time for me to move up in this company. And I just hit a year. They gave me this cool cooler. I was like, damn, homies. Really cool. Um, and pretty much. That's pretty much... <laughs> All I have to talk about, we're just going to sesh and I guess play music because, I don't know, I'm just not just going to sit here in silence and just smoke. I have nothing to talk about other than my health scare. It was so bad. So like, I'm just saying like, do not ever swallow a fucking gummy that you want to get high off of. You'll be dying for two weeks. Like, I legit thought I was dying. I literally... <laughs> It's not a job. I'm laughing at it now because I'm just like, dude, when I, I, when I was sick, I was like, I can't wait to look back and just be like, fuck, like, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm great. I was praying. I never prayed so much in my life. I never wanted people to pray for me. People who, like, knew, like, that I text on a daily or, like, whatever, like, they knew I was dying. My mom knew I was I didn't want to scare her, but, oh, God, I had to tell her. I was like, dude, I feel like I'm dying. I feel like I'm dying. It was so horrible. It was, like, the worst feeling I've ever felt in my life ever like i'm scared to take an edible not because of i'm just scared to chew something and not chew it and just 
have it stuck for two weeks so <laughs> take this video take my health scare and engrave it because this shit was not cute very fucking crazy a very weird experience thank god I'm alive thank god I'm great I'm back at work I'm good like I'm chilling like I don't know I don't know what to talk about <laughs> this is me just 420 it up like I'm gonna smoke this whole thing for you guys cause it's 420 like I always smoke blends but like this one's hitting me because look at this fat ass bitch I packed this bitch up homie and there's a fatty I guess we'll play some Jersey because why not? This song has been stuck in my head for like a minute. I had to play it yesterday and I was talking to my auntie and my uncle. Rewind, that's my favorite part. I was texting, hold up. so fucking lit and I hope this fucking little mic works 
Let me know because I'm gonna start the podcast right. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Let me know because I'm gonna start the podcast right now. <laughs> I just get my goal for this weekend is to clean my office and to set up my little green screen and maybe invest in like a little microphone or something. But like, I'm just gonna use this and we're like in an enclosed space and not in my fucking car. But you know, it was a fucking hot box today, 420 special. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if any podcast ideas. I'm still looking for people. I'm gonna start DMing motherfuckers, bro. Like, I'm, this is so cool. People are already hitting me up. I already have a lot of people in mind. So, if you really wanna get a spot in this shit, please comment, DM me, reply, comment on this video, whatever. Cool. So I'm gonna head out. Happy 420. I'm lit as fuck. I'm gonna go inside and chill probably smoke some more later on i'll probably film it because it's 420 but i'm gonna probably post it later on but anyways i hope you guys enjoy i already said that shit look at lit i'm lit i'm lit i'm lit you guys enjoy yourselves uh stay healthy drink a lot of water drink a lot of fluids chew your food do not swallow edibles whole thank you guys for watching my video and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye What's up,